So hello, today I will be presenting to you my CAP project, which is plugin. For those of you who don't know, plugin is the activity of jogging and picking up trash. Uh, my name is Natalia Muralles. I am a member of the Green Power team. I am currently studying in Anahuac Mayab University in Merida, Mexico. And with my team, we decided to do this plugin activity in Progreso Port, which is about 30 minutes away from Merida. We decided to do plugin because we thought it was a really fun way to help the planet and get more people involved. And we decided to do it on the beaches because we are very passionate about our oceans and we want to avoid all this trash that, is, that ends up in beaches to get to the ocean and contaminate the water and the marine life. The first steps we took in our, our CAP project was set our goals and our priorities. Uh, from the beginning, we knew we wanted to take um, an educational aspect also to our CAP project and not just do a cleanup. So we created a plugin club that's called Go Ocean, and we created our logo and we got into social media. We made an Instagram account and started sharing facts to get more people involved. Uh, for the activity, we were able to make some alliances and get some donations. We made an alliance with Green Anahuac and Asua, which are social commitment groups in my university. And they provided us with transport, transportation from Merida to Progreso, as well as some snacks and water to give out in the activity. And we also got a gift card from the Zero Waste Market in Yucatan to give up as a prize. Um, Polpusa is an industry that donated the plastic bags that we use to recollect the trash. We're also able to get a meeting with some city officials with the Progreso Ecology Subdirectorate, and they helped us with the transportation of the trash from the beach to a green spot. A green spot um, is what they call a place where they separate the trash so one can be recycled or treated specially so it just doesn't end up in a dump site. Before the activity, we did social media marketing. We also did posters and stickers and went to the classes in our university to announce the project. Uh, we did a forms for the admissions to get the participants and one once they had filled up that, we got their email and sent out educational videos, as well as made a group chat to send out reminders of things they needed to know before the activity. Here are some pictures uh, of our stickers with our logo, as well as some other designs. We wrote our Instagram on the back and we gave them out in school. So we would approach people and tell them about our project and gave up stickers as well as uh, some of the posters we made. We also were able to visit the green spot in Progreso and to visit to see where the activity was going to be. And we made some caps to give up as prizes and to have as staff. We had one plugin activity, which was March 19 at 4 p.m. We decided to do it in the afternoon so the so the sun was not going to be very strong and so people could see the sunset so it would be more fun. Here's a picture of the team. We had a stand where it was the water so they could fill their bottles and we also had some snacks and we gave them a map so they wouldn't go very far away from the stand. Uh, the plugin activity was primarily going to be a race, but due to logistics, we decided to let everyone go uh, wherever they wanted, but it, it was still a competition. So the people who recollected the more trash, it was going to win a prize and we had prizes for the first three places. Because we had a lot of people, we decided to divide them up, up in teams and each team had three bags, one for organic waste, one for pet, and one for things they had to handle with care. Uh, here are some of them with their prices, which were a water bottle, a mesh bag, some of the caps we made, and the gift card from the market. 
Some of the challenges we had were us finding out the transportation because we couldn't figure it out until we knew how many people we were going to have. And mostly because most of the students don't have cars. So it was something we needed to take to take them from Merida to Progreso. Another one was where to take the waste we were collected because we only had the meeting a few with the subdirectorate a few weeks before the activity. And before that, we it was really hard to find a place to take the trash because Merida and Progreso are different places. And also measuring the waste on the beach was a really big challenge because of the sand, the scale was not working. So we had to move the whole group to a place that was stable enough so we could uh, weight the waste and figure out the winners. In the activity, we saw that weight is not what matters the most. We saw a team that had a lot of the, par the back parts of cigarettes, which are really hard to find, but they don't weigh a lot. So it didn't show in the scale and didn't add them a lot of points. So we saw that that we could change in our next plugin activity. We saw that locals, the locals are able to help if you show them how, and that most of the trash is in the streets and not necessarily on the beach. So we want to work towards long-term uh, education in Progreso, as well as keep doing this, these activities uh, every semester, and if we can, uh, more times. We had 50 participants and 91.35 kilos of waste was recollected. And we also got featured in some magazines and some local newspapers. And so now I will show you a short video of how the activity went, and I hope you like it. Just one more minute. Um, that's time, Natalia. Thank you. Thank you, Natalia. That was lovely. And thank you for giving us an insight into what it felt like to um, pull off what looked like a really wonderful event. So thank you for your effort. Really beautiful.